And here he comes in. He is the hero here in Japan. He is the legend of the Pride Fighting Championship. The one, the only, Kazushi Sakuraba. Wow, man. He has something to prove. He is something to prove to the people out here. He wants to set the record straight. Although he won his last fight, it was not very convincingly, but he was injured. Now he told us that all the issues are gone. And, man, I promise you, he, he doesn't want to let this fight go to distance. I am sure that my friend Dave Meltzer will give me a complete discourse on what this mask means, because I have no idea. Me neither. It's like a little devil. And we don't even know. Okay, it is Sakuraba, by the way. He walks. I mean, yes. He's got nunchucks, oh, boss. God. <laughs> wow. Yep, showman. A sportsman and a showman. There has never been a man with a sense of histrionics yet in the sport of mixed martial arts like Kazushi Sakuraba. He always invents a new way to get into the audience's mind and the audience's hearts. A master of ground technique. He has had problems in the past with strikers and men bigger than himself like Mirko Krokop and Vanderlei Silva. Uh, one thing that the audiences in the United States won't be able to see is that we saw here in Yokohama Arena a film clip of Sakuraba training and then him screaming in pain after he was swept yeah. by, by Matsui and it looked like a horrendous injury and then after about 30 seconds on the mat he got up and looked at the camera and said, ah, got you. It was like a, it was choking. We were, we were freaking out there. We think, oh my God, he's injured. Listen to the audience. The people at home have to understand. You cannot believe how loud it goes. No star bigger in mixed martial arts than Kazushi Sakuraba. Nino Elvis Shembri. Kazushi Sakuraba, hailing out of Takata Dojo, Daijiro Matsui, and Norahisa Yamamoto in his corner. Yuji Shimada will referee the match. It looks like he's got some virtual reality strapped to his uh, ears there, boss. Yes. Was that like a, some Matrix deal? It's a camera so that people can see what he sees. That's going to be interesting. I like when Yuji says, clean fight, clean fight, <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah. Did you wash your hands? Okay. Dutch! 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 Shembri is not the most astute stand-up fighter. So he's going to want to put this on the mat, but uh, Sakuraba um, is impossibly hard to take down. And I think, I think he's going to kickbox. I really think Sakuraba is going to kickbox in this fight. Yeah, I, I, I really think that he should do that. It would be yeah, not stupid if he would go to the ground. I think if it goes to the ground, he will be on top. We pretty much never saw Sakuraba on his back. Sometimes it happens, but he's out in a flinch. Ooh, you don't know what's going to come, a back fist or a back kick. Shembri, to put it lightly, came up short with that high kick. Uh, Shembri has predicted that he will submit Sakuraba not only with an armbar, but a left armbar. <laughs> Whoa, there's some, uh, some rocking punches. But you, you got to get past the punches, and Sakuraba did actually put uh, Vanderly Silva down the first time they fought with a punch. And... He gave Vitor Belfort a bit of a stand-up fighting lesson when they fought. Yeah, especially with that back kick to the body. He dropped him with it. Yeah, and there's the infamous uh, stomp kick, which came up short. Whoa, yep, we shouldn't be stand-up game, Mr. Yeah. Pai Professor. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Shembri is getting schooled here. Uh, Sakuraba, 
I, I don't picture a scenario where Shembri could exert a takedown. Oh. Even he tried a flying guard, uh, and it didn't quite work. And um, Sakuraba really wants to prove something since the last fight. Like I said, he's on. Yeah, because his last fight against Jill Arsene. Listen to this. It's shades of uh, Lumpini Stadium in Thailand, where every kick, the crowd is like a gunshot. Look at the inside leg, the left leg of Shambri. You already see a red mark there. This is starting to resemble Sakuraba's mismatch with Hoyler Gracie. Yep. I just wanted to say the same what? thing, mister. We're on. Yes. Sakuraba, I haven't seen him more focused in quite some time. Been banged up with a shoulder injury. Elvis landed a shot there. Elvis pulls guard. And he just keeps standing. This is a lot like a koala bear situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you like that one, Mr. El Wapo? You're the best. Ooh, somebody's bleeding. There's yeah. blood. I think it's Elvis. Yeah, it's Elvis. Elvis's nose, probably. Um, now, who's wasting the energy here, boss? I don't know. Um, I think Elvis is doing it. Yeah. Yep, and now yep. on left side. Oh. <laughs> oh, right side, I mean. Sakuraba never ceases to amaze me. Elvis has got flexibility that I have never seen before. He can put both of his legs behind his head effortlessly. Because they're going to have a break. <laughs> yeah, because the, the doctor is going to stop. Uh, uh, it's going to look at his nose. Because yeah. look at this. Yeah, I don't think they should stop it on a broken nose. No. But, um, I mean, it doesn't look good, but I, he's fine. Yeah, there's nothing going on. Yeah. Do you think they're going to start in the koala position again? or <laughs> <laughs> Stop the move? Is that a new, a new patented phrase? I mean, first I said, what, that lay and pray? Back when Fujita <laughs> laid on Gilbert Ivo way back. Now the koala bear position. You, you already, and the, the, what was it, the, the Google fashion butt, good butt in the face position, you had a lot of them. That was in Holland, though, so <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah, but you got to ask a pattern on it, yeah, because that was a koala position, it's a very good name. Okay, I guess they're going to go back to the um, standing <laughs> cockroach Stand position. Yep. Um, Sakuraba coming and blasting with that overhand left. Expect the high kick. Ooh, what a kick. shot! Yep, those are the kicks. Sakuraba has no fear of being taken <laughs> down here. None. No fear of anything here. No, but he's such a good wrestler. <laughs> yes, he is. His balance is phenomenal. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't be afraid if I was him either. Oh, look at this. I like how he switched his stance on that boss. Beautiful, and his punches that people might think, oh, they don't look like real good, but they're sharp punches. They're better. I oh, think I think this is the guy to practice stand up on because this guy yeah. this guy poses no threat standing. Yeah, he should move. He should do something. The only thing he does right now is holding his hands up. And look how tense he is. Yeah, Shakarov should kick to the body with a left bang. Shembri's going to get tired holding his hands like that. Sakuraba faked his shot and then blasted a punch to the body. Whoa, look at that kick. It came from the front leg and still had a lot of power in it. He should go one time to the body. Yes, right straight should. to the body, left kick to the head, and the other way around. Look at that. He's trying to pull the hand down. Yep. Oh, he's the master of mind games. Oh, if he yeah. could speak English, he was way up there with us with the jokes, I think. <laughs> uh, no, I think he would be even... I mean, you and I are completely psychotic when it comes to humor. Ooh. Look at this. Elvis really doesn't have a clue what to do with Sakuraba at the moment. Oh, good oh, left hand by Sakuraba. Nice. Elvis trying, though. Yeah. Uh -oh. Sakuraba oh. moved him. 
so slick. Swinging for the knockout there. And he's going to run up and does a perfect. He is doing, oh, look at this. He is on. Yes, he is. But Elvis, oh, look at that. A double shooto. Oh, Sakuraba move. being Sakuraba on the ground. Sakuraba is out. Oh, my God. Believe it. Unbelievable. That is the upset of the century. Of the century. I wanted to say, don't say tonight because this is the upset of the century. This is the biggest upset I have ever seen in my mixed martial arts career. It was six minutes, seven seconds in round one. A, a match totally dominated by Kazushi Sakuraba. Sakuraba fell prey to a, a knee. Oh my god, he, he lost, he moved, um, he hit, he missed, he fell on his knee, on his knees, he got a knee in his head, and that was the finish. Oh, this is bad, bad, bad for Sakuraba. This is a difficult one to overcome, even though he was winning the whole fight. I mean, come on, one little mistake. It's like we saw with um, Alex Stevling. He was dominating, and then suddenly he got one punch, you know? Only this one finished it, and with Alex, that was not the case. I'll tell you, Shembri didn't fold. I mean, he was losing. Okay, now here it is. He, tried, for, he yeah. tried to get too crazy and came in. Now, Shembri was hurt here, and Sakuraba got oh. knee right there, right there. That was the knee. I didn't see that one. Yeah. Now I see yeah. to another knee and another knee. It was three knees. It's Whoa. like, you know what? He took this guy way too lightly. And he and he figured this guy had nothing and this guy uh, just threw a knee. And oh, oh, good that the referee stepped in there. Yep, that's what happens. Uh, you want to be focused 100%. If you think a little bit light, here, that's a, the next example of what's going to happen. Watch these kicks. Oh, my God. Thank God for referees. Yeah. Yuji Shimada definitely did the right thing. Sakuraba was, I mean, to say he was in control is the, uh, the, the biggest understatement in the world. And he made one mistake. We, saw, we saw another mistake tonight. You know, Carlos Newton standing up with Anderson Silva and ducking down. Yep. This was another, he made one mistake. In mixed martial arts, you've got to be on your toes 100%. The sport has accelerated at a light year, light year speed to the point where now you cannot screw up in there. No, and we've seen tonight that knees are very effective. Wow, who could have thought this, huh? Here we go again. Watch yeah. this, right knee coming up. One, two, three. All they had to do Boom, was, lap. All they had to do was body lock. Knee, not a knee. Yeah, but I think the first knee dropped him. Yeah. Oh, and that sucker kicked to the head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think that this basically derails Sakuraba's quest to have a third fight with Vandalay, at least momentarily. I mean, a rematch with this guy wouldn't be out of the question. Yeah. Because, you know, th there's no such thing as luck in the ring. But. It's true. Sakuraba he, made a mistake. He made a mistake. And the guy capitalized. Elvis was aiming for his hat. He hit his hat. Boom was over and out. And he took advantage of the fact that Sakuraba was down. Two more knees to the hat. Sucker kick. Totally over him. It was perfect. Good job. Nice work, Elvis. Great work, Enzo. Yeah, this was... Wow. Surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but... Um, at 185 pounds, yep. then we have another one. Do we want to put him in with Anderson Silva? I don't know if they want to trade knees, you know what I mean? Yep. Okay, we've got a sold out house here at the Pride Bunny Championship's Body Blows at Yokohama Arena. 19,247 people are here tonight.